We're finally done the introduction to traits, and now we're going to start learning about uh, chaining methods, which is, uh, you know, when you have a method something, 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 and then you put another one on, and you, you, uh, you chain them one after another after another, and uh, you can do a lot of things on a, on a single line of, line of code. And um, this is probably, arguably, where Rust starts to get really fun. Um, you see this in uh, in functional programming languages a lot, and it's uh, it's nice that uh, Rust has this as well. So um, I just want to show you first um, the uh, you know the traditional method of uh, you know which is also fine, but uh, let's say you want to uh, you know make a new a new vec, and uh, you know you want to count from you know put like eleven items in. Or how, however many items. So you make this uh, this mutable new vec. You're going to push things into it. Then you make a counter, and it uh, starts at one. And then you do this while loop. So while cal while counter is less than eleven, you go new vec, and you push the uh, you push the counter in there. So it uh, pushes one, and then two, and so on. And then the counter goes up by one, and it does this until it reaches eleven. And then now uh, we have our vec with uh, with numbers from uh, one to eleven, and you can see our number from one to ten. I mean, and you can see uh, it's right there. So that is the uh, you know the <clears throat> probably the most norm or the most uh, traditional way of making uh, a collection. And here is the uh, actually I'll leave this. Uh, I'll just comment it out. And here is the uh, the equivalent with a uh, on one line. So you have a uh, new vec, and uh, in Rust you can do uh, this one to uh, ten, and this makes a range. And then you use this uh, this method called collect, and you have to tell it what kind of type because uh, collect can make uh, so many things. You can even make like a, a hash map out of uh, collect. So it's one of the methods where you where you always have to tell it the type. And you say, I would like a vec of uh, i32s. And it just does it for you. So there you go. It goes from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, collects it into a vec. And so that is, um, that is you know, it's, we still haven't chained too many, too many uh, methods together. So let's, uh, let's chain a whole bunch. And then uh, we can see uh, you know, just how, how much fun it can get. So let's uh, put a vec together. Two, three, four, I don't know. I don't know, up to five. And um, actually, no, I think we'll need a few more. Let's go up to eight. And then we are going to make a new vec out of this. And uh, what we do is we take my vec, uh, called, then take something called uh, into iter, and we'll look at this uh, right away. This makes it into a uh, an iterator is like a collection that gives one item at a time. So uh, you take uh, it gives uh, either a, a sum with the item or or a none, and it calls that over and over again. So that is a an iterator we have now. And then uh, after that, we will skip and we'll say uh, use this method and say we don't want the first three, so uh, we'll skip that. Then we'll use this method called take, which means we'll take the next four. And after we've done that, we'll say please make this into a vec of i32s. And we will print this out, new vec. And you can see there we go, We uh, so we skip the first three, one, two, three, then uh, we use take four, one, two, three, four, and then um, and then it stopped because it only did it four times because we told it to, and then uh, makes it into a vec. And you can see this uh, this can start to get long, and Rust fumps will probably uh, turn it into multiple lines. No, oh, didn't this time. Well, anyway, uh, this is uh, this is a more uh, normal type of uh, syntax you start to see when you have you know method after method so that it's uh, you know easier to understand what's going on for the for the human reader and you can um, 
We're going to learn about iterators in the next video because uh, this is where all these uh, these methods come from for uh, that uh, that I'm going to show you anyway. And uh, you can see um, like here is skip creates an iterator that skips the first n elements, and then there's uh, take creates an iterator that yields the first you know n number of elements. There's a uh, take while, uh, this gets into something called closures and we'll do this in about, I think 10 videos maybe. And um, yeah, so that is uh, just an introduction to the uh, more functional style. And uh, now we're going to learn about uh, iterators and, um, and then that'll help us uh, you know, understand how to do this and get, uh, get used to the, uh, the habit of uh, you know, chaining all these methods together.